bastard. Anita? There you are. Almost forgot what you look like. I guess. That was rude. Smoke inside? Of course not. <laughs> it's your home. My husband's home. Husband? That real? Yes. Mother of. He's well off. Well, his family was. He's a lecturer. Adorable. How long? Three years. Five years together. No, I mean, how long you been out? Five years. <laughs> Jumped right into it, didn't you? Kids. Adorable. We like to do outdoorsy stuff. Okay? That sounds retarded. You tell him about me. Of course. Liar. On our first date, I did. What did he say? He was understanding. Hmm. And his name is Dan? Yes. Dan the man. Just Dan. Just Dan. Adorable. Why are you being so aggressive, darling? Darling? Why? Because you never call me. The phone works both ways, darling. I suppose you're right. Tea? With scotch in it. Lovely. Downs like it's a good one. It's all the same once it's in your gut. Now, now, darling, don't sulk. I should have called. I'm very sorry. But the important thing is that we are here now, isn't it? Suppose. Don't suppose. No. Yeah. I know. Good. So, what is it, Catherine? What's what? Why did you call me? Oh, of course, son. I caught down watching it again. What's it? Put. Put up. Pornography. The worst kind of pornography. He promised me he'd stopped. He went to counselling, but what good is working on your illegally libidinous shortcomings if you're not making a lifetime commitment to destroying them? It was the middle of the night. His office door was closed and there was that glow under the door, so I went to look through my peephole. Peephole? Mm -hmm. He was on his laptop. And that means? Dan. Of course. Door closed, laptop on, three in the morning. But how do you? Because I just know. Well, go ahead, judge away, Anita, judge away. So what the f happened? What do you mean, what happened? Do I have to spell it out for you? I caught him watching it again, and so I stabbed him in the side of the head. Whoa! Right into the temporal lobe. Is he dead? Yes. I imagine he is. Well, you, you ain't sure? Well, I mean, it's not at the moment. I can't imagine that he'll last much longer. Where the bloody hell is he? Upstairs. In the closet. 
Like you? No, not like me. I'm not in the closet. He is literally in the closet. Bambino, Jesus Christo! That's a dead man. Appears so, doesn't it? You gave him the death sentence. Affirmative. No, I mean... I mean... What are you doing? MJ. Gotta do the MJ. MJ gets my head right. Would you like a cigarette? Mm, yeah, that'll be fun. Dan. Catherine. <laughs> Hi. <coughs> sorry. Um, I'm really sorry to. Um, I'm so late. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I just I'm arrived sorry. myself. I had this lecture and it just ran over. I no, call, but but I apologies necessary. I absolutely understand. When I was a, a student, my long-winded essays most likely kept teachers late. <laughs> you meaning that I get it? Well, I mean, you know, if your essays were half as poetic as your emails, I think the, the teachers would delight in there over time. <laughs> Did you bring all of your dates here? <laughs> uh, all of my dates. Uh, no, no, I um, I don't, I don't date very much. Yeah, work is, I don't, I work too much for casual dating. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm new to all of this. And in fact, I have a confession. What? I've never been on an online date before. <laughs> what? Nothing. All right. Uh, well, I'm not one to interrogate a woman on the first date. Okay. I didn't tell you everything online, but I, I, I was, I was very honest in my profile when I said that I've never been on a, um, been on an online date. <laughs> No, uh, not just an online date. I've never been on a date. You're kidding. <laughs> no. You've never been on a date? Never. <sighs> what a crime. <laughs> Thank you. The compliment. It's okay. But it's it, it is true. This is my my first time sitting across from a man. Man. In any type of romantic setting that might lead to romance, you know, something. If you were to like me. I need you to go to the store and get a bow saw. A bow saw? A pink one, if you can find it. Hell. We need to dismember him. Dismember and burn him. Then hose the place down. Speaking of, after you go to the bow saw store, I need you to go to another store and get some cleaning supplies. Bin bags, bleach, sponges. A bow saw at one store. Cleaning supplies at the other. To avoid suspicion. Obviously. Obviously. You come in with? Can't. I'm known in town. Of course. Of course. But nobody knows me. Correct. 
correct. That's why you called me. I'm your undercover scummer. What have you been saying, Mother? Catherine, my name is Dr. Charmaine Johnson, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. All right. By all means, Charmaine. Do you know why you're here? Do you blame your mother? I blame her for ratting on Anita. Look, I don't cause trouble. I do all my chores. A model teenager. The girl talks to herself. And you know she hardly eats. And when she does eat, she just giggles with Anita. Giggles at the carrots, giggles at the potatoes, giggles at the whole bloody stew. May I? Talking with Anita, giggling May I? with Anita. Anita, 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 the past eight years. May I interject? Go ahead, Catherine. What are children? Betty. In our street. Give Catherine room to respond. Thank you, Charmaine. I simply don't care what Mother thinks. My life with Anita is one of balance and dignity. It's not my fault she's threatened by her. I'm just happy to spend time with my friend. Wanna sing on the swings? Oh, my darling Kit Kat. You are a laughing stock. I'm not a laughing stock, Mother. And it's Catherine. Yes, you are. Kit Kat. I'm not. I'm special. And I don't mean special in the way in which one refers to a retard. Out of some abstract concept of respecting what we pity. I'm literally special. Catherine, Detective Rees will be joining us. Nothing to be afraid of. evening. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. So, what can I get you? Um, red? Uh, what's the nicest red that you have? For red, I'd recommend... No, man. No. Thank you. I, I, I just don't drink. I just... I take things that won't work. You feel free to drink. Uh, I'm not an alcoholic or anything, so it's not like I'll salivate like a hungry rat if I see it. <laughs> um, we're okay, thank you. You really could have ordered it. No, no, no. I, I agree. I think that it's best for people to meet under the eyes of sobriety. <laughs> yes. Fuck. It's like welcome to Deadhouse in here. 
TikTok, darling. Lovely. Bab. Good thinking, Anita. Well, obviously, can I need more than one spoon? Hello, sweetheart. Nice bosom. I'm sorry I'm running late. I had to take a detour. But I think you're going to really like it. cost. <laughs> I learned from the best. What was it? Nothing. Was it Dan? Dan the man? What's wrong? Nothing. You are surprisingly good at this, Anita. Did you ever get over your fear of being touched? Not the back of the neck. 
Did your girlfriend respect your boundaries? The last one didn't. She get drunk and grab my neck. And she knew you couldn't be touched there. And she did it regardless. But now that you're back, I won't let anybody harm you. Just like the old days. That's why you called me, right? Called you? Yeah. You want me to offer? Of who? Your ex-girlfriend. Catherine. What? You called me. What? You called me up. You demented. You called me up. You called me because you wanted me to help you. a happy marriage. I didn't need you showing up and ruining it all for me again. Terribly sorry, darling. I don't know what came over me. Catherine, maybe you should call the police. Call the police, Catherine. I'm not going to do that. You need help. I'm not calling the police. Are you crazy? Crime of passion. <laughs> Crime of passion, my ass. You're funny, Anita. Now help me bag this bastard up. Look at me, Dan. I bet my soul to you. Every single dark crevice in you kept this from me. I trusted you. I didn't, I didn't know how I should, um... I want children, Dan. So do I. How can we with this history? What? What are you talking about? I am so sorry. I will never, ever, ever, ever do this again. Please. You need help. You have to be here for this. For a girl who loves goosebumps, you sure are crazy, darling. You better double bag it. He's the monster, if you ask me. Thank you. So you're feeling a bit under the weather, hey? What? Sick. I mean, are you, are you, are you sick? Are you on? Sick? Yeah, because you said that you've, you're taking it. That's oh. why you can't. <laughs> because I, I said I was sick. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, no, I, I'm, I'm not. What? <laughs> well, I mean, I was, I was sick, but I'm not, I, I'm not anymore. Okay. Say that we, we like each other. Uh -huh. And we become a couple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are on the side because you want to be in a relationship. That I am. Cool. Good. So we both want to be in relationships. And uh, once you're in a relationship, 
you find out these these things about your partner that maybe they're hiding early on so as not to scare the other person off and be left in the dust. Right? <laughs> that is how relationships work, right? Yes. Yes, I guess. What's so funny? Uh... You. What? Well, uh, why are you laughing at me? Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. With me? I'm... You know, I sound... I'm... I'm not laughing. I was trying to be honest with you about something personal. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I think, you know, uh, when someone says they're laughing with you, what they're, what they're trying to say is they like you. Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> Do you like me? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're very funny. And, uh, yeah, I like you. Yay. <laughs> you like me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, would you like to hear what's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. I'm completely at a loss. I know. Well, listen, I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm, I'm ashamed that I haven't called earlier. Yeah, well, yeah. I thought that I could do it myself. Yeah, well, I'm feeling pretty scared right now, so... <laughs> listen, I've, I've, I've tried, but she just won't. Who are you talking to? Did you clean his office? Yeah. Hallway floors? Yeah. Closet? Cleaned. Good girl. Who the f are you talking to, darling? You asked me here to help. Did you call that helping? Seriously, Anita, when did you become so devoted? You know what they'll do to me? They'll send me back there again, and this time they will never let me out. Is that what you want? No, but this is batshit crazy, Catherine. You have a short memory of what that actually is. I'm going to start a fire. Catherine, I really... We are not calling the police! <laughs> Where the hell were you? Being grilled by this one. You confess? Yeah. Told them I did everything. Good girl. Catherine. What? My name is Detective Rees. I know you've been through a lot tonight. <laughs> I know. I'm trying. Knock it off, Anita. Catherine, why do you think you're here? Listen, Detective Reese. My grades are of the highest merit. I don't smoke, drink, or take drugs, and I'm still a virgin. So please, tell me where the problem exists. Now, if you'd be so kind as to let us return home. Anita and I are writing a novella. A novella? That's exciting. What's it about? It's about an almighty girl who can change into a zebra when her human father sneaks into her room at night. It's based on your family. Is that okay with you? Yeah, as long as it makes me look powerful. Powerful? You're a god in this. Okay, I'll, I'll do the illustrations. <laughs> it's called Zebra Girl. Once it's published, girls all over the world will know that they can have zebra powers too. <laughs> How does the story end?
Anita says that in the end, Zebrago mauls her human father. She bites off his head and slowly digests it inside of her acidic zebra stomach. And then she shits him out of her soul. Happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever finish it? Well, our original idea sort of manifested itself in life. <laughs> Dan said it deserved a truly happy ending. Adorable. I can't believe you told him about it. Yep. Prince Charming comes along and accepts Zebraga for all her wickedly beautiful stripes. I need to ask you a few more questions about tonight. You just take your time and answer when you're ready. How does that sound? Okay, good. Now, to the best of your recollection, walk me through the sequence of events, beginning with your father entering your bedroom. Anita and I were playing in our room. No. We were studying in our room, 19th century literature. <laughs> you were studying in your room and... It's all a bit of a blur. After we went to sleep, I found myself reading with Daddy. I thought I was dreaming. He likes it when I hold one side of the book and he holds the other. Two people that love each other holding paper. <laughs> Anita saw this and she exploded into a fit of jealous rage. Catherine, there you are. What I'm about to ask you next may make you uncomfortable. Don't you think if Daddy were trying to hurt me, that I would have been able to sort it out for myself? Do you think I'm some internally vulnerable victim? Well, I'm not that. Trust me. I'm not a victim. I told you. I'm Zebra Girl. Catherine, I only asked to better understand Anita's intentions. Detective. Catherine, there's an examination. What do you mean by rape examination? I didn't use those exact words. I won't take it. It would only help. He didn't do anything. I wish he was still alive. If I were going to kill anyone, it would have been Mother. Why? Because she's a lonely, depressive, pill-popping blame gamer. And she hates me. Why? Because he likes me more than her. Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. 
Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So it's 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 fine. Climbed up the spout again. Are we ready to order? No, we're not. We'll signal you when we're ready to order. showed your picture the uh, court said that because I had the knife waiting that it was premeditated my mother never believed me of relationship between daddy and mother and between her and me. Most importantly, it was abuse between him and me. You need to all go away for a while. We're using a juvenile correction facility. Good. She could use it. By then she'll be 18. And she'll be able to start up her life again. Right. Prison. 
from there. I'm, I wasn't in there. I was so lonely when Anita was gone and all the neurons were functioning the way the doctors desired. <laughs> I'd go off my medication just to feel like myself again. This is what happens when you fake swallow, Catherine. The cycle went on for years. That's why I was trapped there till I was 26. I had to get normal. <laughs> what the hell I dare? Die a virgin. Catherine. Thank you. A word. For your unadulterated honesty. You're an inspiration. <laughs> to who? Jack the Ripper. <laughs> you can leave now. I understand. Leave? I'm not leaving. This feels like the beginning of a never a dull moment romance. Plus, uh, I'm a square and you're absolutely stunning. <laughs> and I am. I am better. For quite some time now. The medicine really does help. To leave in the past where it belongs. <laughs> Since you're still sitting here, I suppose it's your turn. Uh, my turn for what? <laughs> Your turn to tell me any dirty little secrets I'd eventually discover two years into our marriage. <clears throat> um. Do you know what he told me his dirty little secret was? That he liked reality television. You believed him? Wow. That was stupid. Brave, but stupid. Stupid as a stupid does. <laughs> Look at this one. It's uh, a real beaut. That is a Gertrude Jekyll rose. I hide myself within my flower. That wearing on your breast, you, unsuspecting, wear me too. And the angels know the rest. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, hold on. We're going in the house. That's it. <laughs> Come on, you're coming with me. And we're not going to leave the house for a very long time. Sorry, Jack or So what if it's a boy? <laughs> then I'll love him forever. Um, what if it's a breadstick? <laughs> <laughs> I'll love it forever.
whatever. What a great man. <laughs> <laughs> Dan. Mm-hmm. You're good, right? What do you mean? Come on, you know. Catherine. Just being cautious. You know how much work that I've done. You know. What a way to start a family. I just need to be sure. Do you want to see my laptop? Do you want to see it? You can, you can go through it and scroll through it. You can do what you want. To answer your question, I am good. I'm good. Okay. I'm sorry. Just need to be sure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry too. I'm sorry. You know, I love you so much. You just gotta trust me. I do. I really do. So, for example, the risperidone you've been on for several years is associated with a higher risk of malformations in the first trimester. And how about after? After that, the risks increase and vary at different stages of your pregnancy. Stats are based off limited studies, though, and there are newer forms of low dosage antipsychotics you can try that reduce the risk of side effects. Dr. Trante, thank you so much for your time. Uh Catherine, we should talk about options. We will. Let's go, sweetie. Dan, please keep me informed of your decision so that we can monitor her properly. I will. Her mental health is just as important as the baby. We know. Little you. When's it popping out? In six months. So that's really why you called me. It could have been so perfect. It wasn't such a like. Lie down with me. How are you doing? We're alive. Is she moving yet? We're always moving. Why are you so late? Listen, Catherine. 
Dr. Anto, she's really... Shut up. Oh, OK, OK. Please don't. It's really important that we start making our appointments, OK? What school? Yeah, you know, it's... Um, the usual, I've got loads of paperwork to do. Of course you do, darling. I'll be up in my office. We're good. Perfect. Okay. Mm. Pervert. here to protect you. Ami will always be here to protect you.
No, stanotte amore non ho più pensato a te, ho aperto gli occhi per guardare intorno a me, e intorno a me girava il mondo come sempre. Gira il mondo, gira nello spazio senza fine, con gli amori appena nati, con gli amori già finiti, con la gioia e col dolore della gente come me. Un mondo, soltanto adesso io ti guardo, nel tuo silenzio io mi perdo, e sono niente accanto a te. and gotten ourselves into another mess, haven't I? I'm not a victim, Anita. Prince Charming accepts Zebra Girl and they live happily ever after. What is it? For as she had always known, a zebra is simply just a painted horse. Sometimes you buck the horse, sometimes the horse bucks you. The end. The bloody hell does that even mean? Show you what it means. It means all along I knew that perverted bastard was never...
you want her now. Look after her and keep her safe. I'm not going to be like my mother. I'm going to love her. healthy baby. I'm not alone. I guess I'm one of nature's mistakes. You ain't no mistake. You're a separate girl. Round like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel, never ending or beginning. A spinning wheel, like a snowball down a mountain, or a carnival balloon, like a carousel that's turning, running rings around the room, like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes out of space, and the world is like an apple whirling silently in space, like the circle. In the windows of your mind Like a tunnel that you follow To a tunnel of its own Down a hollow to a cavern Where the sun has never shone like a door that keeps revolving in a half-forgotten dream Or the ripples from a pebble someone tosses in a stream Like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes of its face And the world is like an apple whirling silently Jingle in your pocket, words that jangle in your head. Why did summer go so quickly? Was it something that you said? Lovers walk along the shore and leave their footprints in the sand. Is the sound of distant drumming just the Just hanging in a hallway And the fragment of a song Half-remembered names and faces But 
pensi più nei tuoi occhi non mi vedo più quando viene la sera il buio si avvicina vorrei piangere tu mi guardi ma non sei più tu una nave dispersa nel blu mi lasci naufragare e sento di affogare lontana da te di più e ti ho amato di più in mezzo a questo mare il vento e il mio dolore parla di te e ti ho amato di più e ti ho amato di più tutto quel che non sai è che muoio Thank you.